I'm delighted to give this very important conference um, a thumbs up and an encouraging send off. Uh, when I left Hong Kong 17 years ago or so, there were only about 80 students from China, both from the mainland and from Hong Kong at Oxford University. Today we have over 900. We have uh, over 150 academics from China and Hong Kong who are teaching and researching at the university and we're about to open our China Centre uh, formally uh, this uh, September. All that is a mark of our recognition of the crucial importance of China and young Chinese men and women to the history of the 21st century. Uh, China has, of course, always been a great civilization, uh, a great country. It had a pretty tough time in the 19th and 20th centuries, but ever since Deng Xiaoping's reforms at the end of the 1970s, uh, it's rejoined the global economy. Uh, it's soon going to be the largest uh, economy in the world, which, of course, it has been for 18 out of the last 20 centuries. We're really pleased uh, that uh, part of our vitality is created by the number of Chinese scholars who are working in Oxford and I'm very grateful to those who fund scholarships for Chinese students to come here and study and contribute to the life of the university. Uh, I hope we'll see more in the future both the undergraduate and postgraduate uh, because they are a central part of our life uh, in this academic community. China now has the second largest number of foreign students after America uh, in Oxford uh, and I imagine that figure will grow in the years ahead uh, and they will return to China after doing their uh, degrees both to help and develop their own country and I'm sure uh, to work here and in the world uh, to help uh, ensure we have a more stable and prosperous future. Um, China is is a big part of our of our vision at Oxford to be a global University, um, uh, I'm really pleased that uh, you'll be you're going to be able to dem demonstrate that this weekend.